Alrighty. We're getting ready to take the cannon out for some still photos. It's a uh, Wednesday, July 24th, 2019 at 9.18 p.m. up here in Northeastern Ohio. It's quite cool out too. It's um, 67 degrees. So that's a cool shot with part of the willow, Antares and Jupiter. So if I want to get Saturn, if I'm going to use the P1000, I'm going to have to hurry. Alrighty, hello there. We're starting tonight off with uh, Saturn because right now it is clear of trees. <laughs> Let's shut off that display first. We can see the settings there. Oh shoot, I'm aimed at, uh, <laughs> at Jupiter Duck on it. No wonder I could actually see it on here. Oh my. I'll get back to you, buddy. My <laughs> goodness. All right, we're going to try this again. All right, there's our triangle stars there. This should be the two up above should be stars of uh, Sagittarius. And then the brighter one down below is uh, Saturn. Already, this image is really grainy, but I do believe I see Titan out there about the uh, one o'clock position from Saturn's tilted ring, but we're going to go in and change up the ice sail. Boy, I hope she comes in as good as uh, last evening. And last night, my gosh, we had the, uh, <laughs> we had to contend with the tree branches last night. Now I'm going to take a short clip here and I'll be right back. All right, so that's going to be it. <laughs> we only had that short window before Saturn took a dive into the trees. So it's going to be back to Jupiter. So let's zoom up here. All right, tonight, get this lined up more. Okay, now tonight, well, let's shut this off. All right, tonight we have, um, I believe it's Ganymede that's uh, transiting in front of Jupiter, and I was hoping it'd be about the uh, one o'clock position by the time we started filming, but I don't see it there tonight. But Callisto is way out in the lead there again. <laughs> now I'm gonna do a short clip and I'll be right back. All right, we are back. All right, I might have it too bright. I'm not sure. Whoops. All right, like I said, I may have it too bright, but I'll be right back taking a short video clip for stacking. Okay, so we're back again after getting those clips and hopefully the stacking will go as good as it did last night now the great red spot isn't in view tonight it's just so hard to tell if it's in focus or not the best focus that these cameras can get but anyway probably what I'm going to do is overlay some pictures uh, so we can see, have our bearings, you know, to know where these planets are in my sky. And I know some people don't like it when I do the overlays and, and all that, uh, but I'm just being a bit creative. Not only that, I do want to see something other than what the video picks up, which is blackness. Okay, there is a critter right by me and I think it's that raccoon oh he's about five feet away from me I thought I was hearing something out here doggone it I thought he was gone 
Well, that's going to end us now for this evening. Get out of here. Go on, you. Uh huh. You the one digging up my yard, are you? All right. You don't bother me, and I won't bother you. And I'll be cool. <laughs> Let me out of here, just in case. Don't want to mess with these guys. I really did think he was gone. I hadn't seen him around for ever since that one night. Okay. Okay, now that we're safely in the house, <laughs> being chased in from the backyard by a raccoon, he seemed to be okay. He seemed more scared of me than I was of him. But I really did think he was gone for good. But anyway, what I didn't get a chance to say out there was uh, the equipment used tonight. Now, I do put the gear I use down in the description box of each video because I do change out every so often. and I want to know what equipment I was using. So if you have any questions, you can always look down there in the videos. But we took the photos with... Uh, the Canon 80D and the Tamron 18 to 400 mil lens. I do prefer the pictures on the Canon so much more, but that's just me. And the video was filmed with the Nikon P1000 camera. I don't have a telescope, just so you all know. <laughs> Never used one before. And a scope would just be too much for me to handle at this stage of my life. And uh, I don't need any more expense either, so. <laughs> so I'm happy with what the cameras do produce, uh, and it's what I can handle. Anyway, so we filmed it with the uh, P1000 and recorded onto the Atomos Ninja Flame. Now the Aston mic was hooked onto the uh, camera, which records onto the flame, but uh, when I do menu hopping, sometimes it's so unpredictable, but sometimes the... Uh, audio gets all whacked out and buggered and crackly and all that stuff. So I'm using a backup with the uh, Tascam DR-10L. It's this little tiny mini recorder and has a lapel mic. And it's my goodness, what, about one and a half inches by one and a half inches. It's very tiny, but pretty powerful. And the sound may not be as good as the Aston, but, uh, it sure was nice to have that backup when two clips of last evening was uh, all screwed up. Yeah, I don't know what it is. I, I can't tell if it's the camera, if it's the uh, flame, if it's uh, the mic that's causing the issue. But uh, it's it doesn't happen all the time. So it's a hard one to troubleshoot. Anyway, that should do it for now. Once again, I'm going to wish you all a great evening and a wonderful Thursday ahead. I hope all is right in your world. Take care now. Bye.